Andrew, great. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. Today we're going to talk about the seven bridges of future home loves. Awesome. So, my favorite thing. It is pretty cool. Tell me first how you came up with the idea. Why the seven bridges? So, you know, a company needs core values. It's super important to have core values, you know, and what you run your company off of and by what really matters to you. And seven bridges, we live in Jacksonville, there's seven bridges here. It was kind of a no brainer to just pick seven bridges and it's bridges to success, it's bridges to um, domination, it's bridges to wherever we want to go. Like we use these bridges to get there. I love it. Super cool. We're going to go through the seven bridges and have you talk to each other. That's cool. All right. All right. First one, we are the experts. Yeah, we're the experts. You know, the most important thing about being good at your job is being good at your job. You can't fake that. So, you know, I think you want to strive to be the best. You want to be the most knowledgeable about what you do. And it needs to be really important to you that you are an expert at this whether that's a loan officer, whether that's a processor, whether that's a leader, whether, you know, whatever your role is, you know, you want to be an expert and you want to be the best at it. Very true. Can't fake it to me till you make it in this business. No, no. <laughs> Face it till you make it. <laughs> number two, bridge number two, I don't know what's at the heart bridge, we don't know exactly what bridge that is, but bridge number two, every client is our most important client. Yeah, every, you know, everybody matters with us. Every client is our most important client. Every opportunity that we have in front of us is our most important opportunity. Um, you know, that goes without saying it's, it's with the way we treat every client is the way we're going to treat everybody the way we go about our business. So everybody's, every, every one of these are, are it's, it's their dream home. We get, we, we have an amazing opportunity here with work and we get to help people participate in the American dream, where they live, where they, where they pass on to their family. Um, it's super important and, and it might just be another opportunity for us, but it's their dream home. So it, it, it damn well better be that important to us. And we've got to keep that in the proper perspective. It's a relationship, not a transaction. Absolutely. Number three, win the day and do it today. Yeah, um, you know, procrastination is, is everybody's worst enemy in business and life, no matter what you do. And, you know, everybody's favorite day to, day to do anything is tomorrow. Well, <laughs> future home loans, our favorite day to do it is today. Pick up the phone, do it right now. There's, there is no tomorrow with us. Um, you know, if you're going to be competitive, if you're going to win, you're going to have to have that opportunity to, to take the day, to seize the day, and to make the day yours and don't put it off. Love it. No excuses. We own it. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> My least favorite thing in the world. Yeah. Everybody's got them and they all stink. It, <laughs> excuses suck. It's a, it's a way to make yourself feel better for you, know, you, you failing. Well, we don't make excuses around here. We face it. We own it. Um, you know, it, Whose responsibility is it? It's your responsibility. It's my responsibility. It's all of our responsibilities. And if we fail, we fail together, but it's because we, we didn't perform, not because we made an excuse about it. So we face it, we own it. And that's the way we grow, that's the way we dominate, that's the way we ultimately succeed. Mm -hmm. Looking in the mirror. All right, we are on number five, bridge five. Always understand and explain the why. This is very near and dear to your heart. Yeah, um, I talk about it all the time. Um, why explaining and communicating the why is how you educate people. You know, and I think at the core of what we are at Future Home Loans is we're educators. You know, we're not salespeople. We're not trying to trick people. We're not trying to hide something. We're trying to explain. We're trying to educate. This goes right along hand in hand with being the expert. When you're the expert, nobody knows you're the expert unless you can communicate why we're doing things. And if you set the proper expectations, if you always explain the why, then everybody's going to be happy. Everybody's going to be on the, on the same page and you're going to ultimately have a positive customer experience, which is what we're all pushing for. Mm -hmm. And that should have like amended with, we don't do stupid long. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. Uh, it, it's how quickly you fix them, you learn, you face it, you own it, and you don't do it again. Love it. Focus on the little things and make someone's day. 
Yeah, this is another one that you know it, it, it's it's real near and dear to my heart. It's we got an opportunity not only to make the customers' day, but we get to communicate with our business partners. They're important to us. We get to communicate with um, with our referral partners out in the community, with people that we work with, with our AEs, with our account executives at the lender, with with our lender underwriter, with our processors. You know, if we take the opportunity to put ourselves in their shoes and think about hey, why don't we just be positive? Why don't we help make their day? Um, it's gonna make us feel better. And that, you know, whenever I'm, I do that, it makes me feel better about what I do. And if we can be a culture of being relentlessly focused on helping the other person and being a supportive and a positive influence, then it's gonna come back to us tenfold. And, um, and I, I truly believe that everybody matters to us. Uh, last one, the big seven. Think big, strive for relentless self-improvement. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's no reason to not think big. You know, where do you want to be right now? Where do you want to be in two years? Where do you want to be in five years? We need to think big and then we need to come up with a plan to get there. Um, you know, if somebody, if we're going to be a big company in this industry, we're going to take this industry by storm. And if we're not number one, it's our own fault because, you know, we didn't do it. I think we can do it. I think we can grow. I think we can have a huge impact on the community. I think we can be part of, like I said, the American dream for so many of our customers, so many of our business partners. And if it's not us, it's going to be somebody else. It's not as talented as us. And that would piss me off. <laughs> I don't want it on my tombstone that they are above average. Like we want to be excellent. We're going to relentlessly chase perfection. We're never going to be perfect, but we're going to strive to be better every day. We're going to be excellent. All right, so people watching this video, it's going to be new people, it's going to be your OGs. What's the final message you want to give them? Well, the OGs aren't going to watch it. They don't pay attention to anything. So if this is for you new people out here, <laughs> you're on the team, this is where you're on a winning team, take this opportunity to be the best at whatever you're, you're, you're trying to do here at Future Home Models. We do play favorites. I absolutely play favorites at Future Home Models. If you outwork somebody, if you put the extra effort in, if you outperform your peers, you're gonna be my favorite and the, you're gonna be able to achieve anything you want in life um, here at Future Home Ball. So don't don't put yourself into a box, think big, let's, let's go get it. Awesome, this was live from Jacksonville, Florida.